Right, I was on one of the for sale sites and I saw this lonely, lovely looking guitar here um, for not very much money at all. And I thought, you know what, I'll get it back. And I don't know if you can see from there, the action is so high on this, it is borderline unplayable. Uh, but not to worry, I've got something that I can do for it to make it work right. So in the post came strings, let's get it sorted. Right. On closer inspection, as you can see, we've got these really old strings. Some of them even got little dents in them where they've been pressed down so hard because the action, if you can look, is just ridiculously high on this thing. We're talking a full centimetre nearly. And uh, as you can hear, that don't sound like a proper string to me. Put me, message me if you think it is, but um, I've got a suspicion it might be something like fishing line or something because it's not does not look like a proper good string to me. Uh, as you can see, this thing, it's had a history. It's got little bits all over it where it's been bashed about and whatever, but it still sounds good. I still think it's worth saving. Uh, I'm gonna drop down the saddle on here because I don't see from this angle. Look at that, that's, that's leaning a hell of a lot forward there. Uh, and it may be the reason why it's going. It's probably a little bit of bulge on the wood there. Uh, but I'm going to file that down and just see if I can get this action lowered just a little bit, just to make it more playable. Now, I know there's probably going to be people out there going, Gaz, just adjust the truss rod. What are you doing? Check it out. No truss rod, I'm afraid. I'll even put a picture up over here of inside of the sound hole as well. This thing is solid wood. I have no idea how old it is, but anyway, let me try and see if we can file it down. At least we can make it playable, hey? You can see we've got the strings off now. We've got some uh, lovely tuners up there, all working and great. Got some lovely weather in there on the nut. And uh, down at the bottom here on the bridge. Now, I don't know if these are supposed to be glued in, but this one isn't, so if I file this down or get a get it thinner uh, at least if it doesn't pan out doesn't work i can always buy a replacement and slide it back in no harm done uh, but right. as i filed down the uh, saddle for the bridge as you see i've uh, got the old e-string put in there nicely and uh, i've done a nice little simple over the over the top of the saddle job there. Uh, I won't do a video specifically on that, but what I will do is put a picture next to this of the action, what it was. And as you can see, it's as low as it possibly goes. If I take away any more, it will just start vibrating on the bridge and it's just gonna sound horrible. But as you can see, that's brought that action right down and it seems, I will get all the strings on and I'll see what it plays like. Right, so as you can see, are all done. As you We've got that uh, bridge right down, the action's all right down. Let's see how it plays. As you can see, real good result there. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.